What's up guys? Tony Rican here and today I'm going to throw down with another cool mashed up comfort food. I'm going to be making a chicken pot pie stromboli. You know exactly what this is, don't you? That's right. This is awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. Remember guys, if you love all the cool content I'm putting out here on my channel, the easiest way to make sure it keeps on rolling and help the channel grow is just to hit like and share on this video, drop a comment down below, then go ahead and subscribe and share my YouTube channel. That way every Monday and Friday you'll get a brand new, really cool, simple recipe just like this chicken pot pie stromboli, which to start, I'm preheating my oven to 400 degrees. Then I'm gonna take a couple of tablespoons of butter and get that melting down. Once that's melted, I'm gonna go ahead and start sauteing my onion and celery in that. After a few minutes, my vegetables will get nice and tender. Then I'm gonna go ahead, add my garlic in and let that go for about a minute. Once that garlic's went ahead and got nice and fragrant, I'm going to add in some flour. Next, I'm going to add my chicken broth, get that all mixed together, and let it go for about five minutes. Once that's nice and thick, I'm going to go ahead and shut the heat off. Add a little bit of cream and mix that completely in. Add in my peas and carrots. And last, my shredded rotisserie chicken. And once this is nice and mixed together, I'm going to let it cool off for a few minutes so it can thicken up even more. Once my fillings had time to cool off and thicken up, I'm ready to finish this one off. I've got a puff pastry I'm going to lay out on top of a piece of parchment paper. Then what I'm going to do is down the middle I'll add some shredded cheddar cheese, that filling that I made, Now I left room at each end because what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in, then fold this over, I flipped it over so it seemed side down on a prepared baking sheet, I'm going to brush it with a little bit of egg, then I'll pop it in my preheated oven for about 35 minutes, let it cool for a couple minutes, and this one is done. And that's it, guys, this cool family dinner is done. Just take a look at how it came out. It freaking looks awesome. The reason you, I use a puff pastry instead of pizza dough on this one is because you get a nice flaky crust just like you would on a chicken pot pie. Everything inside looks great, but you know, I can't just look at this. I gotta go ahead and just take a bite and dig right in. Mmm, sorry about that. This is freaking awesome. You guys are going to love this one. So hit like, share, comment on the video down below. If you need complete step-by-step -step printable instructions, check out AverageGuyGourmet.com. Head over to my Patreon. Consider subscribing for even $1 to help this content keep rolling out. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this one a try, and we'll see you guys next time.